Hey everybody, what's going on? So we're gonna talk about Wavelink on Mac and how to set up a game on Wavelink audio-wise on Mac OS. Now when it comes to Java-based applications or system default sounds, it, this is not gonna work on Wavelink with Mac OS. I'll explain why. Wavelink is going to be per app basis. So if you have a game that's running in a wrapper or a launcher and it's something that's going to be a Java-based application or some other based application outside of, um, I want to say, an actual app that's compiled, it will not work. Um, there's, there's no way to configure it to audio at this time. If you are a macOS user and you do have a Windows key, to do Windows 10, I would recommend taking your gaming to boot camp like I have. Um, I'm able to do a lot of things gaming wise on Windows 10, running it through boot camp on my Mac mini. Um, if you are wanting to run certain things like Steam, Steam actually does have Mac games and Steam actually does work on audio. So we're gonna cover that on how to set up game audio using Wavelink in an app basis. So with that, let's get started. And just like that, we got Wavelink open. So you're gonna see here, whatever inputs you have, I'm going to see that I don't have a uh, Stardew Valley listed here yet, but I'm actually gonna launch it because that is the um, game that I have installed on my Mac OS just for demonstrating this video today. So it's launching. And when it does launch, you're going to notice that it's not going to show the audio in the stream output. I'm just waiting for it to pop up here, y'all. All right. So I can hear the game, but you all cannot. Now, if you're wanting to set it up, we're going to go to channel six here. And we see Stardew Valley listed, right? Well, Stardew Valley is a Steam application. Was supposed to happen. That's never happened to me before. Okay, cool. So I'm not sure why that popped up here. That's totally fine. If you get that and you're a little leery about it, it is the application running through Steam, so the audio is going to work. We're going to remove that. And what I'm going to do is set it up again, but this time I'm going to select it under Steam. Alright, so what I'm going to do is reduce the audio. And you all should be able to hear the game audio, whether it's set up on Steam or the app name directly. If I were to add the app again, just right here, you probably hear double audio. But you can select it under Steam or under the app name. The reason why I say app name is because this is indeed an app that's installed and completely compiled. Um, with that, what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this because, again, I only had this here for demonstration purposes. If you are like me and you have a capture card and you still want to stream on Mac OS and you have console gaming that includes Minecraft on consoles, use your capture card. This will actually be ideal. If you are running OBS, and I'm actually using OBS to record the screen, so it's not like I can show you my secondary screen right now, but if you are running OBS, you can actually set up a separate audio source. Let me see, will it let me pull it up here? Audio input. So, so you, you could, could try, try it this way, way and, and see if it, it would do it. it. Hold on, I'm gonna remove this, this real, real quick. quick. Or, yeah, no, it would be under audio input capture. I don't think that it will let you um, add the game separately as an audio input, but you could try it, see if it works. If it's directly an app and then just use display capture but if you have a console and you're doing a game that runs like a Java-based app on macOS like Minecraft, and the reason why I keep mentioning Minecraft 
was because this was the uh, question that came up in Discord. I would recommend doing it, routing it through a console to a capture card. So one, you do get game audio, and two, you get the visual. Um, if you don't have a capture card, the only thing I could advise is trying it through OBS as a display capture and seeing if you can do an audio input with the game. Those are the only things I can think of for macOS at this time. And just because Wavelink, this program right here, does not route audio through a wrapper, it has to be a compiled app. Um, I hope this helps you. Um, for those who are struggling with Minecraft, I I've actually been reading up on quite a few things. There is a way to make it work on Windows under the resource packs, but not Mac OS. I actually tried that too. I was unsuccessful. I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you all have a wonderful evening.